Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today we have another box of halves. Uh, the last two boxes I've had some pretty good luck. Um, found a few. Uh, I did go ahead and start opening this because it's so hard to open. So let's go ahead and finish opening it. There we go. Oh, it's these green ones again. Olive green. Let's get those over so you can see them. And I don't see anything offhand. Looks like it might be silver. So I'm going to look at these. If I find any enders, I'll let you all know. And we'll get into this hunt. I'll be right back. All right, well, we made it through that box, uh, and um, there were no uh, special enders, but this one here has some toning. The camera really doesn't pick it up. It's kind of a gold tone. So we'll go ahead and open up this one and see if there's anything hiding. It's like looking for treasure every time. Oh, my goodness gracious, look at that! Huh? That is definitely silver. All right, let's see what we got. A 1964. How cool is that? It's a 90 percenter. Very cool. Wow. Well, with that being the very first roll, I think we might have some good luck. All right, I'm going to get into this hunt. Might have found another one. Let's see if there are any others. All right, let's see what this is. Yep, 90, uh, 40% or 1967. Very cool. That's two for this box. And I don't see any others in this roll. All right, I'm going to keep on going. All right, looks like we have another one. It's all full light. Looks like it might be another 90 percenter. Let's find out. Sure enough, second 90 percenter, 1964. Ooh, has a, looks like a demon mark. Very cool. Awesome. I love the sound. You can definitely tell it's different. All right, on with the hunt. All right, well, I made it through that box of half dollars. It ended up being a really good box, and I have quite a few finds here. Um, this one here I pulled out just because it had such a rough life. You always wonder what happened, what made it this way. It's kind of a sad state. And then this one here is um, kind of a weak strike. You can see down here at the bottom of the date, it's real weak. And the top of the um, of the wording around is kind of weak. And he's got a weird dent in the middle of his head, too, because it kind of goes in. It's weird. So I just pulled that one out because it was a little odd. And it's a little weak here, too, but not bad on the back. All right, and then I also um, pulled these three out. Um, you can barely tell that they have a bit of a gold tone. These are 279s. They're in really good shape. They have a tiny bit of a gold tone. And then here's a, a 83 that also has a bit of a gold tone to it. So those were kind of interesting. They're in really good shape too. And then I did find three NIFCs. A 2003, 13, and 14. And 13 and 14. And um, these two are from Denver, and this one's from Philadelphia. 
So I found those. And then I found this, which is not a proof, but it sure looks like one. It's from Philadelphia. I think somebody shined it up. But look at the shine on that. Can you see that? It's really pretty. And it's on this side too. How shiny that is. Sorry, my camera keeps going dark. So I pulled that out just because it was so shiny and pretty. Alright, and then the gems of the box are my three silvers. This 64 is a really nice 64. It's in really good shape. And it's from Philadelphia. And then another 64. This one's from Denver. And there's the mint mark. And then I also got, and those were 40 percenter, or 90 percenters. And this one is a 40 percenter, 1967. And it's from Philadelphia. All right. Well, if you like this video, leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time.